Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you want to record your screen on your Mac and want to include only the internal audio without capturing the input from your microphone? In this video, I will show you the easiest method to do this on your Mac. Let's go. Although the Mac has the built-in QuickTime Player tool for recording your screen, it's not possible to record internal audio. Therefore, I recommend the third-party software Movavi Video Suite, which has more recording functions such as video editing, conversion, compression, and more. Its Screen Recorder program is available for both Windows and Mac OS. To download Video Suite for free, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below for your reference. If you want to change the website language, click the Globe button in the upper right corner and choose one. Although Movavi Video Suite is generally a paid software, there is a 7-day free trial version so you can get a feel of how it works before paying for anything. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software on your computer. If you have trouble installing, proceed to your Mac's System Preferences, click on Security and Privacy, and unlock the labeled key below the panel. In order to successfully install Movavi, you will need to adjust key configurations that reduce the security of your Mac. By default, the software cannot access internal audio, so you'll see Apple's instructions on what to do to continue installation. Once installed, launch the Movavi Screen Recorder to start recording. Its control panel appears as a pop-up sidebar menu on the right side of your Mac screen. For first-time setup, click the Settings icon in the control panel to modify the recording configurations to your liking. Under the General tab, click each checkbox to enable the configuration described by its label, such as disabling the default countdown or hiding the recording panel. Set your preferred destination folder when saving your recording in the Files menu. Go to the Video tab if you want to adjust your output's frame rate. To show cursor and keystroke activity in your recording, you can enable it in the FX tab. You can also limit your recording duration and set a specific time range in the Scheduler configuration. Finally, click the OK button to save your changes. To start, open the window you want to capture and click the Video Camera button in the control panel. Then, drag the cursor to the specific frame you want to capture or click the space bar to record your entire screen. Once your screen is set up, use the corresponding toolbars in the lower right corner to activate the feature you need. In the horizontal toolbar, leave the microphone button disabled to exclude external audio from your recording. Then, activate the system audio button to record your computer's internal input. Once everything is ready, click the Record button to start recording your screencast. Please note that if you're on a free trial, you can only record your screen for 7 minutes. Another useful feature is the Pencil tool, which allows you to doodle on the screen and highlight specific areas for your viewers. When you're done recording, just click the Stop button on the toolbar. A separate window will appear to preview your recordings so you can make any necessary edits such as trimming timestamps, capturing a specific frame, or saving to a new folder. If you want to save it directly instead, click the Export button. Here, you can rename the file, specify the destination folder, and change the video format to your liking. Finally, click the Save button to start the export. When the file is finished exporting, click the Show in Folder button on the pop-up alert to view the video in the location where you saved it. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!